Watchers and welcome to issue 34 of the Disney Dolls House. So in this issue we have got a whole bunch of skirting board for Alice's kitchen. And then I think the first few pages is just about the location of these because they're all different sizes um, and how to place them to get the corners to meet, marry up together. And then a little bit of information about skirting boards. And then we've got a timeless classic, which is Big Hero 6, which I've not yet seen. And then we've got another timeless classic, which is Inside Out, which I haven't seen. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any th sort of kiddish Disney movies, um, animation sort of movies since probably about... 2011 era onwards I think um, but I've seen the sort of live action sort of Cruella 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 <laughs> there we go um, I love that movie I thought that was absolutely fantastic when they first announced it I was like really but no it is absolutely fabulous So let's get into the build, which we are going to need our model, which I've got my bits just hanging around. Oh, Olaf's fallen over drunk. Oh, he's fallen forward drunk now. Yes. So. Alice's kitchen we're going to be focusing on. I'm just going to move the bits out of the way. So the skirting boards we've got is a really long piece to obviously go down the back of the wall. I mean you can pretty much guess where they're going to go short, uh, purely from the size of these. But there's one th key thing you need to remember with these skirting boards. And then we've got two little teeny tiny ones there. Little plate and get some wood glue on that. Um, the key thing to remember with these skirting boards is they do have an indentation to represent a decorative molding finish. And that always needs to go towards the top, not towards the floor. So always bear that in mind when you're placing these. I've got a funny feeling they're not going to fit in place if they're not all the right way anyway. So let's just get some wood glue. So, 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 so. They recommend doing the teeny tiny one first, which is this little thing. It's not even, it's half of one of these squares. So you just want to glue along the back not too much because you don't want to squish it all the way up your wallpaper and then this piece needs to be placed I mean they recommend using tweezers but I hate using tweezers so it just needs to be placed on this teeny tiny bit here and it needs to be shoved up right against the door frame like so And it is literally just as simple as that. And then the next bit we're going to do is the bit along the other side of the door. Yeah, which again, you can only put one way because one side has got the angle so you can make the perfect corner. So let's get some glue on here. Again, always making sure you've got plenty of glue right on the edges um, to obviously help if there's any bowing, but also to make sure that the corner pieces are not going to flick up because the corners 
the edges are the bits that are really gonna um, if they dry out they will spring up and get caught on things very easily so pop that along there and then slot it into place just like that again also very easy and we're going to take the longest molding piece and just get all the way along I'm going to have to excuse the lighting in my studio today because it is thundering and lightning so it keeps going extremely dark then a little bit lighter and then really bright and then dark again so this long piece has actually got two angles on both sides and it slots in just like so i'm just going to get a cotton book so i can see a squidge of glue And then we want the, the second smallest piece and this is looks like this it's got two different angles well same parallel angles and that's because it's going to connect all the way around the beer window and that slots in that i mean this is all slotting together pretty perfect already now that's obviously the center Piece. Are these all going to be the same? That's probably that one. Interesting. Mm, no, nope, there is supposed to be a gap, that's okay. Yeah, okay. So the piece that you want next for the bay window will have one edge like so. And the other edge like that as well And then the longer piece goes in the middle bay window. Yeah, that's pushed that into a perfect corner, which is what I like to see. Keep knocking the camera. And then this one goes around the other side, just pop that one out of the way. Oh, put, got a little bit too overexcited with the glue on this one. That's alright, we can sort that out in a second. So if you can see there, you can just see it peeking out there, which is what we're going to join up in a second. And take the last piece. And 
Now this piece is to join up on the other side. So if you can see, it's going to interlock there very nicely when I push it down. And then we get that perfect angle. But there is supposed to be a gap there, so do not worry about that at all. Don't worry about it one little bit. Oh yeah, that's all stuck in nicely, very nicely done. pop everything up there because now we're going to talk about the items that we got in this box in fact no let's bring that back down mm, pop goofy over there let's just move Olaf out of the way just for now I still love how these doors are these are just fantastic Really well done. But um, yes, the decorative items that we got in this issue are, I'm absolutely blown away by this rug. Now on the camera, unless you're really squinting at the screen, it just looks like a print, but it's not. It is actually proper textile embroidered rug <laughs> material and it's so flexible and nice and it's very soft and if I get it really close you can see all of the detail on this and it is just absolutely fabulous and as you can tell from that motif it's for the frozen hallway and it does lay flat. I know some people have put like um, double sided tape or stuff like that on it, but I, I wouldn't want to do that. But that is just absolutely, I'm blown away by this. I mean, some of these things that we get in this doll's house, the details just <sighs> absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. And if not only that, we have also got some flower stands for these beautiful flower pots to stand on the top in the frozen hallway as well. But these are just really nicely done. Oh, what's that? Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna have to have a look at that. That's a bit of the plastic molding that's come away. I'll have a go at trying, I'll take pictures of it first um, and then have a go at sanding it down. See if that helps. Um, if not, yeah, I'm gonna have to contact Hatchet with that if it doesn't disappear. But the other one is perfectly fine. So it's just obviously just how it's come out of the mold on that one. But the detail on these are really nice as well with painted flowers, very much keeping in with the Norwegian theme. And then of course we've got a little motif on the flower pot as well, in the gorgeous little flowers. So I think they stand at the bottom of the staircase when we eventually get it. So we shall place them just there for now. But they are just really lovely as well very nice very nice indeed but that is it for this issue that is all we had to do was put in the skirting board and have some lovely decorations um i think the next few issues that we get will be completely building up the basement pit part so i think we pretty much leave this bit alone for now um well i won't because I, I still have got my window and the replacement panel to do because I still haven't got issue I think it's 31 
so I'm still waiting on that. They they have confirmed and they are sending me another one out. But for everybody else, we don't really touch this much now. Um, for I think until nearly November time, I think, which sounds like a long way away, but it's actually not. <laughs> so I think I might start decorating for Halloween then. Um, but yes. Um, we will start building up the floor, uh, the basement in Winnie the Pooh's room next. Leave me a comment below if you are building a doll's house and if you are going to sort of decorate it or just do like one room or just a few little bits, tidbits here. But, you know, let me know what you're doing and, you know, if you're going to make things or if you're just going to buy a few little bits or, I don't know, just let me know what you're going to do for Halloween or if... You just don't want to do anything for Halloween and you're waiting until Christmas, maybe? Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys are going to decorate this and make it sort of your own. Let me know if you've got any problems with anything that you're building or you can't go quite get something right. I'm more than happy to try and help. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.